Hey everyone, on this week's Training Tuesday video, we're gonna be doing the y Prez drill. This is accredited to Kawa Maulai. I'm probably butchering that, I apologize, from 2alphatraininggroup.com. This is gonna involve three Ipsic style targets at 10 yards with three yards in between them. That three yards is gonna be very important as you'll see later uh, in the video. Uh, we have four total firing positions, one in front of each of the far targets and then one at seven and 10 yards in front of the center target. Uh, super simple course of fire. We're going to run through it with a couple different guns just because I'm kind of curious about performance difference across different types of guns. Um, but without any further ado, let's jump into the drill. One thing I should mention real quick before we get too far ahead of ourselves, especially in a drill like this, which is going to incorporate movement, especially movement backwards, it's really important to maintain trigger discipline and also be conscious of where your muzzle is pointed. We want to make sure that uh, we are not keeping our finger anywhere near the trigger during any sort of movement. Uh, and especially as we're running backwards or across range, depending on which hand you use, that you're not pointing it anywhere that you don't want to be pointing a gun or that you're not allowed to be pointing a gun depending on the range that you're at. So be very conscious of that as you'll see in the video. All right, so I'm gonna be starting here at the left target at five yards, uh, pistol in the holster. Now, you're not gonna be able to fully see every shooting position just because in order to keep you dry and try to get this uh, all in the shot, a little bit difficult, so we're gonna have to do our best. We're gonna try it first with the uh, SIG M18 here. All right, so um, I'm just gonna walk down, take a picture with my phone so you can see what all those targets look like. I think we did all right. All right, so here's the left target. We did have one shot uh, the, from the far right position hit there. Center target's all clean. And the right target is all clean. Now, just for sake of perspective here, this is from the far right shooting position. You can see that if you're not cheating it, that far left target is pretty oblique to you, uh, meaning you have a very small shot window. Um, now, again, that's no excuse for a miss on the A zone, but it makes that A zone significantly smaller, and that's why it's important to have these targets spaced out as they are at three yards apart. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing uh, with all three targets here, but with the 1911 here. Uh, now that last uh, series of shots was 23-25 for uh, all the shots. Let's see what that looks like, because for sure we're gonna have to do a reload. Now I am plus one on this, so we got nine rounds in the gun currently, plus my reloads. So let's see how this looks. Oh, first ever malfunction with this thing. Let's keep going. Grab my camera here. Now, that was 3446, so part of that was one malfunction, uh, but on the left target, looks like we are all clean here. On the center target, we are nice and clean, nice tight group there. And on the far right hand target, we are all clean. So as is the case with a lot of these drills, it's kind of a pick your poison when it comes to switching guns. Now with the M18, I was significantly faster. This is a gun I have a lot more rounds through and it's a manual of arms that I'm a lot more familiar with. 
being a striker fired pistol. Um, so I was a lot faster, uh, just over 23 seconds for the uh, course of fire. With the 1911, I was significantly slower. Now again, I think, as I mentioned, this uh, comes down to just familiarity with manual of arms, but then also the fact that I'm running eight round magazines versus 17 as the factory mag, 21 if I go to my backup mags. Um, so again, do with that information what you will. I think the main value in this uh, course of fire is as long as you're not cheesing it and you're actually having each of the targets kind of parallel with the line of the range, um, you're getting different target presentations each time, even though you're shooting the same three targets from all four positions because it's so oblique to you at either of the extreme edges. So you can shoot real fast at five yards at a target right in front of you or one slightly off to the side. But now when you're looking down what's effectively like, I don't know, seven yards or 21 feet diagonally from you, um, that becomes a little bit more challenging. Uh, and it's just a good way to change up again that target presentation when you're only using one small range. And again, at a maximum of 10 yards, it's still not too challenging. So uh, the other nice thing about this is it's forcing you to be conscious of where your pistol is pointed, especially for those of you who either do competition or are thinking about maybe going into doing competitions down the, in the future. You have to be very conscious of what you're doing while manipulating that firearm while moving from one position to another. Now, I also did the easy mode going from left to right because then as a righty, I can run down range keeping the muzzle pointed either forward or down. But if I'm running from right hand to left hand, I have to be a little bit more conscious of that, especially in a competition environment. So as I was running back to the seven and 10 yard positions, making sure that that gun is pointed in a safe direction is gonna be vitally important. And especially, again, with the 1911, making sure that that safety is flicked on and uh, in between each position. Um, and obviously making sure that your finger is well outside of the trigger guard, ideally along the side of the frame or the slide. So go ahead, I think this is a very valuable drill to be practicing. If you want to practice this drill, please feel free to do this or any of the other ones we've done on the Training Tuesday so far. Upload your video to either Instagram or YouTube and then send both myself and Drill Index a link to your video and you will be entered for a chance to win a deck of cards. We're trying to do one per month. This whole last month we didn't have a single entry, so if you even submit a poor run, in all likelihood, you're gonna win. Uh, I'll, I'm not gonna get on my soapbox about uploading bad runs. Obviously, I failed my first run um, because I had a shot outside of the A zone, at least for what I was going for. I would really encourage you guys, whether or not you think you do good enough to post, even if you don't post, I would encourage you to post it anyway, but even if you don't post it, just keep it for yourself so that you have something to measure against yourself for in the future. Anyway, again, not trying to get too much on my soapbox there, but with all that being said, I uh, look forward to seeing how you guys do. Let me know how you think I did and which one you would rather run through this course of fire between the 1911 and the M18. And as always, I hope you got something out of this video and I really appreciate you watching. Hey everyone, on this week's Training Tuesday, we're gonna be doing the y Prez drill. This is accredited to Kawa um, Malawi. I should have read that before I started trying to do this video. Kawa Malai. Malai. Malai.